uh, AppSec and and related fields are going to be a growing field of employment. So for our listeners, can you talk about some key skills, experiences, talents, and areas of learning uh, that you would like to see from security novices or aspirants, people looking to make big career changes into this field? Uh, you know about how some of these skills and requirements change as you move also from the nuts and bolts tech level, we were saying, to the holistically planning, you know, C-suite and executive level. Yeah. um, The biggest thing that I uh, can tell people will be useful to them uh, is a broad base of experience or of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Um, And what I mean by that is, you know, um, you have to be able to know how uh, things work generally Mm -hmm. in order to uh, a build upon that and understand them in greater detail. Uh, But when it comes to InfoSec, uh, it's even more important because you need to know when something isn't quite right. And the only way you'd know that is to know, well, what right might look like. Mm -hmm. Um, So what has helped me the most is, is, uh, and I know this is uh, kind of contrary to many people's uh, uh, typical approach to things is, but I have... um, have benefited the most from not becoming an expert in anything in particular mm-hmm. until I got way down my career path. Um, okay. you know, so I, I spent like 15 years, uh, uh, which by the way, I CV at the beginning, I think I says more than 20 years. I'm coming up on like 28 or something, okay. which is outrageous. <laughs> I guess I should update that, yeah. <laughs> that yeah, uh, yeah. quote in my CV, but, <laughs> um, but I spent probably the first like 15 years, being a generalist, not mm-hmm. being, uh, not in pursuit of a specific thing. Though I was personally interested in kernel hardening, mm. I didn't pursue some uh, whole life. I was, I'm very, very interested in Linux system kernel hardening. So I follow like, uh, uh, shout out to GR security folks, uh, mm-hmm. Brad and, and, and the PAX team, uh, yep. big thumbs up, uh, for both of those teams projects, uh, from me, longtime fan. Um, but I could have like stayed with that. And I don't know what my, you know, I, I, I won't tell you that I, my future would have been bad or something like that, mm-hmm. but I know how good my future has been because I didn't do that at the yeah. same time. I, I know that kind of, uh, uh, diversity of understanding is critical in particular when it comes to InfoSec. So, yeah. uh, don't spend all your time just being a programmer, learn how the systems work that you're on, learn yeah. why they work that way. In a lot of cases, like, I mean, and I'm talking nuanced stuff, like go back and learn why is there a difference between system five and BSD Unix? Why is mm-hmm. that? What, you know, Know, what were those things? Um, you know, know, uh, uh, know why why it is that uh, you know browsers all claim to be Mozilla. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you look at the user agent, why that is. Right, you know, right. little nuanced stuff, but it'll help you better understand kind of the world that you live in, uh, and electronically speaking, at least. Yeah. Now, um, in, in terms of the sort of wide ranging learning, it sounds like it was you were learning these things. Uh, partly because you enjoyed them, but mostly it was whatever the next sort of challenge was. So you were kind of learning according to where you wanted to sort of extend yourself. And, well, I need to know this to do this rather than, you know, and I think, you know, everyone's already sort of, uh, you know, spoken out against the idea of like alphabet collectors, you know, who want to get every cert and stuff, but don't have any application for it. But yeah, again, I think it's important to reiterate that, you know, learning comes from, you know, solving the next problem in front of you rather than building a big right. toolkit that, uh, yeah. That, right. and, and even before that, you know, the first mm-hmm. problem that everybody faces, uh, you know, when like uh, when you wake up every morning, um, a bunch of this happens subconsciously, but you start with what am I? And then mm-hmm. where am I? And then eventually you get to what do I want to do today? And mm-hmm. now most of this process is invisible to us, but it happens to us every day because when we return from our sleep state, right, our brain has to reorient itself. Mm-hmm. And the reason why it happens silently to you is because we've had the opportunity to kind of assess how things work here. Like, you know, mm-hmm. about gravity, you know, uh, about light, you know, right. that you're going to put your feet down, you know, and stand up and you know, all of these things that we kind of take for granted. And that's the type of stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, mm-hmm. Not just like, how do I get someplace, but like, wh- what am I? Where mm-hmm. am I? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and then kind of build out from there. But the more uh, kind of um, demystifying 
exercise that you can apply uh, to InfoSec, the better you'll be at the job. Because everybody is going to be outsmarted by somebody at some point in the InfoSec game. Right. Uh, I don't care yeah. who you are or, yeah. or what you're doing. Yeah, Someone don't be afraid to, to step in it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. And someone's going to come at some point and outdo you. So what your job really is, isn't to be the best at anything. Mm-hmm. It's to be uh, it's to be the most versatile at everything. Uh, yes. Because at some point, somebody's going to make a pivot or a move. And if you're wed to possibilities mm-hmm. that where you've excluded outcomes just because you think you know better. Or are you gonna... digging your heels because you are the specialist and there's that sunk cost fallacy of like, well, I already learned That's all this right. stuff, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. and what is it? When you're a hammer, everything's a nail, mm-hmm. wherever that saying goes. I mean, yep. and that's all of those things are true. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.